In today's video, I'll show you a specific finding on hip MRI in patients with femoroacetabular impingement. And let's jump right in. Hi, my name is Chris and in my YouTube channel I teach you everything about MSK MRI. I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist myself working for Aristra and if you want to know more about what I do and etc etc so just make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out my LinkedIn profile and all the other social media platforms where I'm active. But that's enough for the intro so let's jump right into the case. So here we have the images of a 21-year-old female patient with femoroacetabular impingement clinically. And we can see here in the lower uh, row the preoperative MRI. And then this is the postoperative MRI after um, like arthroscopic surgery. So basically the finding that I want to show you today, and so I'm not going through the whole case uh, for time reasons. So the quick tip this week is what's called a or what i call a periosteal hypertrophy at the femoral head neck junction and this is basically what we are talking about today so you can see we've got the femoral head here it's you know if i were to draw the bony contours of the femoral head i would draw it like this we can see maybe there's some more irregularity here like bony irregularity here but we have something that's covering this up here that's not bone now, if you think about the cam deformity and pistol grip deformity, etc., or if you were to measure alpha angles, which I never do, you know, but you can imagine if you flex your knee, basically there will be a bony conflict between this structure down to this area, although it's not a bony cam deformity. Um, so I, this is something that you can occasionally see and I'm just gonna scroll through here. So when we go to the more, uh, this would be more, the, so you can see here on the gluteal tendons, this is more kind of like a coronal view. This is just a normal orientation. Now we go anteriorly, we can see gluteus minimus here, and we can then start to see these irregularities here at the level of the femoral head next junction with some bony irregularities below it, but over it, there is kind of like a soft tissue component to the cam situation, right? So that's the uh, soft tissue cam. Uh, I think there is not a lot of literature about this out there. I think there is one abstract from an orthopedic surgeon, if I remember correctly. But we are currently in the process of assessing this here systematically in a nice research study. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is still relevant. And, you know, why is it relevant? Because if you look at the x-ray right you can see the you know this is about the same position of the femur here on the lower two images here now if you just look at the bony contour it, it's quite nice you wouldn't necessarily give a cam deformity here but if you look here together with the soft tissue component it actually you know makes the femoral offset uh, you know reduced and therefore this becomes clinically relevant or mechanically relevant rather than clinically. Yeah, so what did they actually do after this? Uh, basically, they went to arthroscopy because she had these symptoms. And in the arthroscopy, what the surgeon or what the surgeon wrote was that in addition to the like the bony component, maybe more in these more you know adjacent regions, there was a soft tissue plus that's now his dictation, and a, like a heart periosteal, you know, uh, periosteal component uh, at, the, at this level. So that was what he was writing in his surgical notes. And they did to, basically they did a like offset correction or a, like a chem deformity surgery, as you can see now here. Now they did not just remove the soft tissue component, they kind of like opened up the offset or you know the the piece of bone also here as you can compare this on the, about on the same slice so they took out quite a bit and if i were to draw on this it would likely be maybe something like this maybe a bit too much but yeah i think you get the idea um yeah interesting you don't see this on radiographs it's really on mri soft tissue cam or what i call it a periosteal hypertrophy at the femoral head next junction and the hypothesis that we have or that I have is that this soft tissue, this periosteal hypertrophy or reaction from the chronic 
impingement basically ultimately will ossify and I only see this in younger patients and the older the patient gets I never see that so the idea is that the periosteal reaction ultimately ossifies or calcifies and then it's just a kind of like a smooth bony cam like you would uh, think of it and I've never seen it above the age of 30 I think 20 is still at you know at borderline typically it's even in younger patients and you can see how this starts to form this bony irregularities and if if this is becoming more prevalent it would end up in a kind of like a bony cam situation so I think that's all I wanted to show you today so look out for the research study that's hopefully coming out um, later this year and I will certainly bring this up again at that point and in the meantime thanks for watching so I hope you liked the video, if so give it a like and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to support the YouTube channel further then basically you can either become a member of the YouTube channel, there's a link to join somewhere down below this video or you can go over to my Patreon page and there you will get also access to exclusive videos that you don't find here publicly in the YouTube channel. So if that's the case, great, thank you very much. If you are an existing member or you know patron thank you very much for all your support over the last years and yeah it's great to have you here and with that i'll see you in the next video bye guys